Hi, I'm Ilkay Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelius. Today I'm going to show you 10 must-have plugins inside Sibelius because these will definitely speed up your workflow in a huge amount. So that's also why I call these as Lightning plugins. Okay, before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via PayPal link in the description. Let me show you first how you should download the third-party plugins inside Sibelius. So you can download each one of these plugins with this way. Go to File, Plugins, Install Plugins, Show tab and click here on All Plugins and write the name of your plugin to the search bar, for example. And after you have found it, click on the install button and close the installation window. Let's start with the increase decrease dynamics plugins. These two plugins might be my most used plugins in my workflow. They basically increase or decrease the selected dynamic to one up or one below dynamic. So let's say that I want to have here a mezza piano instead of a piano. And all I need to do is to make my selection and then run my increase dynamics plugin. But of course, I'm not going to run it from my common search and I will run it by with my already assigned shortcut. And each time I hit my shortcut, as you see, it goes one dynamic up or depending which shortcut I'm triggering, it goes one dynamic below. By the way, I absolutely suggest you to assign custom shortcuts to these two plugins for a Lightning usage. To learn how to assign custom shortcuts to plugins, watch my dedicated Lightning Sibelius chapter. I let its link in the description. I use Alt plus for increase dynamics plugin and Alt minus for decrease dynamics plugin. These are also very handy if you use Not Performer and if you need instant dynamic chains. As you see, it takes me a few seconds just to modify one passage. Let me give you some more examples so you will understand it much better. Let's say that I want to have here a pianissimo instead of a mezzo piano. So all I need to do is to make my selection and then run my degrees dynamics plugin two times. And let's say that I want to have here a fortissimo instead of a forte. Again, I make my selection and I run my increase dynamics plugin one time. And voila, as you see, it's super fast. Fill with Tired Notes plugin. This is another cool one and it is very useful especially when you need to deal with long pedal notes. Write the first note and make your selection. Then write its name to the common search. And boom! It gives you a long tired note from the first selected note. You can also assign a shortcut to it if you think that you might use this one often. I have done it and mine is Alt F. Here comes two little but super handy plugins, save and restore selection plugins. Okay, what save selection does? It saves your selection to the memory and anytime you run restore selection plugin, it calls it by bringing back your selection. So this is particularly useful when you need to deal with the same passage for lots of time, such as this one. I will just save the selection once by hitting its shortcut. As you see, my ribbon has flashed and it said that it saved the selection and then I make my modifications. Now I I want to make a new modification for the dynamics for this selection and I don't need to do this selection every time so what I need to do is I just run my restore selection by triggering its shortcut then I hit my I don't know dynamic and then again I make my selection by triggering the shortcut of the restore selection and I enter my another dynamic let's say that this has no musical meaning but it's going to be only an example I want to add another articulation for all of these notes I run my restore selection plugin again I just hit my tenuto articulation I just come with this idea which is really looking really terrible anyhow uh, you, you got the point to save another selection all you need to do is make your selection and run the save selection plugin again and you saw that the ribbon has flashed it saved the selection and anytime you trigger the restore selection plugin you will see 
your selection has changed and it called the saved selection from the memory. Copy hall double not values plugins. Okay, these two plugins copy double or hall values of the selected passage to the clipboard. Then when you paste it, it pastes halt or doubled values depending which one you have run before the pasting operation. Let me give an example for each one of them. Okay, make your selection and write copy hall not value to the common search. And when you paste your clipboard, you will see that it has halt the not value of the selected passage. And let's make it also for copy double not values and make your selection and write copy double not values to the common search and you will see that when you paste it, it will double your not values. And here comes the big boy, my plugins plugin. This is that much time saver that I have made a dedicated chapter for it. So watch it if you want to bring your workflow to the next level because from now on I will call some of my plugins via this plugin for a quick access. Dot on dot plugin. Okay, this baby is very useful when you especially want to remove the dotted nodes. Because as you know, to change this passage to a minimum node, you need to do it one by one since Sibelius doesn't offer an on dot option natively. It is very time losing, not of course if you use dot on dot plugin. I call my plugin by using my plugins plugin so I don't need to assign any shortcut to it or to type its name to the common search. And as you see, as soon as I run my plugin, I have cancelled the dot and I have returned my second node to a minimum. And let's give another example for this bar. What I'm going to do is I run my dot on dot plugin again via my plugins plugin. And as you see, all my nodes has been returned to an 8 node. Philips selected nodes plugin. Okay, I use this one quite often too. It flips the stems of the selection to the direction you desire. Make your selection and run the plugin. I will call it via my plugins plugin so I don't need to assign any shortcut to it or to type its name to the common search. And as you see, this plugin works also for, for example, stamps down, for multiple selection wonderfully. Here comes another very useful one, which is Systems Per Page Plugin. This is a very handy one for a quick layout setup. I will call it via my plugins plugin, so I don't need to assign any shortcut to it or to type its name to the common search, and I will update my layout. And let's say that I want five systems for page for these three pages. All I need to do is to run my systems per page plugin and write five and voila. Now I have five systems per page instead of six. Filter notes by beat and filter notes by duration plugins. Okay, these two plugins are amazingly handy if you don't understand especially the working logic of advanced filter of Sibelius. I call filter notes by beat plugin via my plugins plugin so I don't need to assign any shortcut to it or to type its name to the common search and I run my plugin. As you see, the user interface is super simple. Just write the beat you want here. Let's say that I want to filter the third beat of this selection and click OK. As you see, my plugin has filtered the third beat, the notes at the third beat for my selection. And let's change, let's add a stack out of here. It's not going to make any sense, but it's going to be a good example. Let me give you another example for filter notes by beat plugin so you will understand it much better. Let's say that I want to add a tenuto to the first notes of the first beat for my selection. I run my filter notes by beat plugin and I write beat 1 to the beat bar and I click on OK. And as you see, my plugin has filtered the first notes of my selection and I add my tenuto. And meanwhile, by combining all these selections, you can make much more finer and specific selections based on beats. Another variant of it is filter notes by duration plugin, which is extremely handy if you want to filter a certain length of notes. Make your selection and run it. 
Okay, I want to filter all eight nodes here in this selection. And all I need to do is to choose the eight node here in the list and click on OK. And right now I have filtered all eight nodes in this passage. And then I'm going to do my modifications. Voila. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via PayPal link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.